Now the thing about uh, this area out here with these, you know, birds and hare are, first thing you're going to notice about when you're out hunting is, wait on, this guy's got no camouflage on. So I'll talk two things about camouflage, okay? The wind, first of all, there's two ways to camouflage yourself. One is to be downwind of the game. Now the wind is coming this way, right? It's no good if the wind's blowing back this way because any body odor from me, the animals are going to smell it and run away. Now, not so much with hares and, and birds. What they're relying on, they're relying on stealth and camouflage. Now, it's quite possible you can walk, done it many times, I'm sure people out there that are watching this that are experienced hunters, you can walk right up on top of a hare or a grouse or even a pheasant, and if it believes that you can't see it or you're no threat to it, it will remain deadly still, and you can be within an arm's reach of it, basically. But if you see it first, then you've got the chance to give it a bit of a danging and, and take home for the pot, okay? So out here, first of all, you've got to be looking very carefully, you've got to be moving very, very slowly. And it's true, you shouldn't be talking loudly, you shouldn't be smoking. Okay, there's always these exceptions, people are smoking and they're catching game right next to me, like, no, tomorrow and I'm not catching anything. But generally, you shouldn't be smoking and you shouldn't be talking loud. So you've got to really be looking, because if you just had let me just show you, I've got a stick here, just a stick I cut before, it's not a very long stick, and, and, and I could sharpen the end of this, and this is more than reach enough, because I can easily be, you see that stick there, I can easily be this close, if not closer, to a pheasant, grouse, or hare, in order to capture the thing, uh, like that with a sharp stick, if you've, got, if you've got nothing else. But you've got to be aware of it, in a thing like this. Now, of course, if there were other larger forms of game like wild goats or something like that or pigs uh, they, they're going to smell you if the wind's blowing in the wrong direction now let me bring you back to another point that i was talking about camouflage it's not necessary in a survival situation you don't want to be saying oh my god i haven't got my camo gear with me i've got my special camo makeup that doesn't matter right because you can use plain old charcoal and never ever when i've been out hunting have i resorted to going and buying some specific camouflage paint that's for suckers that stuff is for suckers, right? The simplest camouflage is you make it yourself out of charcoal and stuff like that, and you rub charcoal oil over your face and any exposed body parts to make it, to break up your pattern. Okay, that's the most important thing. Ordinary charcoal, it doesn't stink of anything other than something which is burnt, a natural smell that can be a natural smell in the environment. Okay, so let's move on.